Ladies and gentlemen, the return of Megan Mayo. Girl, you got the moves. Let me see your groove. Oh, shake them hips. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, guys. That was... <laughs> I know I'm hilarious in this dress. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thanks, y'all, for having me back. The first open stage of the year. I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, I got some new ones, but I sprinkled in some oldies but goodies for you, okay? <laughs> well, at the end, you can yell out something you want to hear, okay? All right? I promise. Okay. So I'll start out. Um, Christmas, I went and saw a bunch of movies, right? I went and saw the new Twilight movie, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It was in 3D. I had to go. Um, but don't worry, fans. The characters were still one-dimensional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's got me thinking a lot about vampires lately, like some really important questions like, can a vampire get AIDS? And the answer is yes, but only if they get bitten by a priest. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I shit on, vi on Twilight because, you know, I actually read the book. I believe if I'm going to go on stage, make fun of something, you should try it first, right? Like, I read Twilight. I know I don't like it. I was Catholic for a year. I know for a fact I am not Catholic. Um, once I ate fish and didn't like it, so I know I'm not a lesbian. Um, ouch. <laughs> ouch for who, though? Like, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is my new stuff. It's, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my New Year's Eve, so it's really, really new. Um, I went over to my friend Russ's house, who is a 28-year-old male teacher who is not gay, to his My Little Pony-themed New Year's Eve party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a brony. <laughs> and there he had um, My Little Pony theme shots. They will get you fucked up. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awesome. What we were doing, the one that we liked was called um, the Rainbow, S Rainbow Dash, which is, I guess, one of the po ponies. What it is is homemade for Loco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's NOS energy drink with blue carousel in it, and then a bomb of vodka, gin, and um, triple sec. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two of those was, one of them was a good idea, two of them was a poor life choice. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to admit that right now. <laughs> like, I, I had bought a new white shirt to wear to the party I wanted to look good, and in the morning when I woke up, like, I'm in, like, my, my underwear and the shirt. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And I wake up, and I'm looking through one bloodshot eye, and there's, like, orange all over me. Yeah, I don't know what happened. And I walk out to the living room, and my husband goes, so, do you know where all those Cheetos came from? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, I really dig Cheetos when I'm drunk. <laughs> they, were, they were everywhere. The cats were eating them and everything. It was, it was fabulous. <laughs> But uh, the one thing I do remember from the party is I was in my, my best friend's, like, I was gone. I was laying on the couch. My eyes were closed. My husband and my best friend were talking. And I heard my best friend go to my husband, you know, have you ever thought about, you know, putting it in the other hole? <laughs> and to myself, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> then my husband says, he was pretty messed up, too. But <laughs> he goes, yeah, but wouldn't she get pregnant then? <laughs> I remember laughing at that. With, uh, uh, I, with Cheetos spurting out of my mouth, I guess. I don't. <laughs> he drove us home, even though he was probably not sober. And the next morning, like, he passed out on the couch. And I got up and, you know, I stumbled out. We had our Cheetos conversation. And he tells me, he's like, I had a weird dream last night. I was like, well, that doesn't surprise me, but tell me about it. And he's like, all right, Earth had been destroyed. And we were traveling on the back of a space whale. And the Queen of England was there, and she was cloned. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, Stephen, that's Doctor Who. 
You just watched that all night while drunk. <laughs> and you thought it was a fever dream. <laughs> that show is trippy. Okay. I should have known better than tried to surprise you with that because um, that was a new one. I should have stopped at, uh, at the butt thing. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> should have stayed on the that's a, I like you. You can come over later. <laughs> uh, my mom's a landlord, which is, it's not very cool, you know? Like, I wasn't so much given birth to as evicted. <laughs> and she still won't give me my security deposit back. I didn't do all that damage is all I'm saying. <laughs> she chose to repaint. <laughs> okay. I'm getting I'm surprised the positivity pill has a cup flying towards my head at this point. <laughs> Still wincing. Um a little about a little bit about my husband. Um we met online and he told me he was a real beefcake. Um turns out the cake was a lie. <laughs> it turns out he makes something called beefcake and eats it. <laughs> yeah, he's fat. He's not here, so I can say whatever I want about him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care. He's playing Skyrim right now. <laughs> That's right. Unless I'm a dragon and he can kill me, he does not give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're in marriage counseling right now, actually. He says it's because I cheat and because I beat him. I think he should just get better at Halo. I think it's the teabagging that really bothers him. <laughs> Taste of your own medicine, bitch. <laughs> we were having a fight the other day. He was going he was going someplace and I didn't want him to go. And I was like trying to, you know, emotionally back blackmail him to stay. Like I was like, what are you gonna do? Go see your girlfriend? And he's like, Yeah, she'll do things you'll never do. And I was like, yeah, name one thing. And he goes, she'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I will never do that, <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, I hang out with a lot of guys, obviously. Um, and I love hanging out with them because they do things like girls would never do. Like we were, we were at a strip club and they were um, all fantasizing over this one stripper named Fantasy. Yeah, that bitch had a spray-on tan, fake boobs, and a weave. Her name should have been plagiarism. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. They also do this thing where they punch each other in the nuts, and they call it cock knock. It's a game they play, yeah, because there's nothing funnier than blood in your urine stream, apparently. <laughs> like, girls would never play that. Like, man, would girls play cock knock? No, no. Girls play clam slam. <laughs> And I suck at that game because I am a pussy. <laughs> All right, guys. Is there anything else you want to hear before I get off the stage? Girl Scouts. <laughs> Girl Scouts? Okay. Girl Scouts have a restraint, but then I'm going to get out of here, Russ, because I'm, <laughs> I'll do that one. Uh, and I've broke the mic. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, the comedian's on stage, but they're in the audience, too. Uh, all right. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I really hate Girl Scouts. Yeah, I do. Yes, I know. It's so surprising. But I, I have a reason. Like, when I was five years old, my dad left us for the Girl Scout leader. Yeah. It wasn't his fault. She needed her home wrecking badge, and he was only trying to help. Um, but it's affected me for r the rest of my life. Now, every time I see a Girl Scout, I just punch that bitch right in the face. <laughs> and then I buy five boxes of Thin Mints because that shit is delicious. <laughs> they taste like abandonment. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, I like the applause break. It makes me feel powerful. All right, this is my last one. I'll get off stage. Um, I am a greedy American and I don't have one, but I have two jobs. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky like that. <laughs> My second job is I work at uh, Starbucks at the drive-thru on the weekends. Yeah, I love it. 
Yeah, no, it's awesome because people don't realize, but there's a camera and I can see into your car and we see people doing all kinds of crazy shit in their cars. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it's 530 in the morning because I, I open and I hear the little ding. It's our first customer of the day, 530 in the morning. And I hear the ding and I'm like, how can I help you? And I turn to look at the monitor and there is a chick giving a guy a blowjob. Sorry about that. <laughs> <In the> st- <laughs> No anal sex in this one, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got chicken pick a guy in a blowjob at 5.30 in the morning. Worst morning breath ever, right? <laughs> I mean, I know Starbucks is expensive, ladies, but uh, this is an In-N-Out burger, okay? <laughs> so that they pull up to the window, and I'm, I don't want to look this guy in the eye. I don't want to touch him. I want anything to do with him, right? And he makes a movement out, of the, out the window like he has his money. So I go for it, but he doesn't have anything. So we just kind of meet in the middle. And we're like holding hands out the drive through window. <laughs> and I freak out. I don't know what to do. So I just look at him and I go, so um, do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Megan Mayo. That's my time. Thank you for having me. Let's bring Russ back up to the stage.